What's going on guys, Venomous Scott back with a brand new video and what I want to talk about in this video is just certain things that I've been thinking about when it comes to the future of Call of Duty. And when I say the future, what I basically mean is, is the upcoming game that's coming up at the end of the year and any games that are coming up in the future. Now one of the questions that I've really been asking myself is, um, you know, a lot of people want, want Call of Duty to go back to the old style Call of Duty. You know, all the old fashioned gunfights, just on the floor gunfights rather than all the wall running. And the thrust jumping but one of the questions that i've been asking myself and i know a lot of people that have as well is would we still enjoy the game you know don't get me wrong i absolutely love all the old all the old call of duty games but that is before that is before black ops 3 and advanced warfare uh, introduced more of a faster paced game so transitioning back to all style call of duty would we still enjoy it because we're going from a faster pa faster paced game to more of a slower paced game so you know, would we would we miss the new movement system in the in the next? You know, if they did decide to go back to the old style Call of Duty, it's definitely a question. You know that I've been at, that I've been thinking about myself, and I know that probably the developers of Call of Duty games are pro. You know, they probably throw that question in there all the time, and I know that they're going to be taking a lot of consideration into that. But there's just a couple of other things that I do want to cover, and the next question that I've been thinking about is: Has the new movement system? made competitive more fun to watch in my opinion yes i mean i watch a lot of competitive myself and i do find it really fascinating <clears throat> when you see pro players do a lot of stuff that you do a lot of things in the game that you don't see in just when, when you're playing publicly and stuff like that and it is really really fascinating and it does open up in my opinion more of a skill gap uh, do you know what I mean? But yeah, th th like I said, these these are just certain things that that I'm just kind of asking myself, and I do want you, your guys' opinions as well. So please leave me your opinions in the comment section. Uh, so just one of the last things that I do want to cover is in Advanced Warfare, they threw in a, a classic playlist, and even though there was a lot of people that was unsatisfied with the new movement system in Advanced Warfare, the classic playlist wasn't actually you uh, wasn't actually played or used as much. Is what people think do you know what i mean and if if people wasn't satisfied and didn't like the new movement system then why wasn't this classic playlist used um as much as what you know you would think and also black ops 3 doesn't actually feature a, a classic playlist and another question is why you know maybe they looked at the statistics of um how how the progress that it made in advanced warfare and kind of thought you know it didn't get the pro, you know, it wasn't as progressive as what we thought it was, and I think, you know, maybe they thought that it wasn't something that was going to get a lot of progress in Black Ops 3. Th these are all, like I said, these are just certain things that I'm just throwing out there, guys. These aren't, these aren't facts, you know. Th there's certain th facts when it comes to the classic playlist and stuff like that. It definitely wasn't used as much as what, as what they probably wanted it to be. So the next thing that I want to talk about, guys, is the next Call of Duty that's coming up at the end of the year. You know, is it going to be Call of Duty Ghost 2? If it is, I'm really fascinated to see what they're going to be doing with the game. And I think when we actually get more information uh, to, of when the game's, you know, when the next game comes out, what sort of time frame they're going to be setting uh, within the game, I think that's probably when we're get, going to get the most vital information to whether they're going to be going back to the old movement system or whether they're sticking with the new movement system. But until we get more information, guys, it's hard, you know, it's very, very hard to tell. Uh, but just one other thing as well, there has been quite a few rumours thrown around that uh, it could be Call of Duty Bloodlines. Bloodlines meaning family. You know, I'm really, really fascinated to know if it is going to be Call of Duty Bloodlines, what they're going to do. You know, are they going to are they going to be starting off a brand new a brand new game, a brand you know with brand new characters and stuff like that, or are they going to be doing it for family? You know, like the family of the characters in Call of Duty Ghost. Are they going to set it before Call of Duty Ghost was set or after? Uh, do you know what I mean? And like I said, until we get more information on the time frames of the next Call of Duty game. Uh, we're pretty much clueless at the moment, but as soon as I do get any information, guys, then, you know, I will be letting you know as soon as the information is available to us. Uh, so please stay tuned on the channel, but, you know, I'm going to end the video. So if you have enjoyed the video, then please smash that like button, comment and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace out. Stay with me.